Throughout Tibet, there are many sacred mountains and lakes. Among them, Kailash comes first. For thousands of years, Kailash has been the sacred center of four major Asian religions. Each year, several thousand pilgrims come to circumambulate the sacred mountain in order to gain religious merit. The year 2002, the year of the horse, is a special once in every 12-year pilgrimage. It is believed that one circle around the mountain in the year of the horse is worth 13 circles done in other years. As a result, more than 400,000 pilgrims are expected to make the long and perilous journey to Kailash this year. This summer, the CERS exploration team traveled to Kailash to observe and document this extraordinary pilgrimage. The sacred mountain is situated in far western Tibet, to the north of the Himalayas. From Lhasa, it took the team seven days to reach Darchen, the starting point of the 53-kilometer circumambulation around the mountain. Circling around the mountain is an ancient ritual of devotion. Buddhists and Hindus make a clockwise circuit, while believers in the black sect of Tibetan Buddhism walk in a counterclockwise direction. It is believed that a single circuit by one's sins. Thirteen circuits ensure enlightenment. <laughs> Walking continuously for 15 hours or more, some pilgrims complete the 53-kilometer journey in just one day. There are those who choose to prostrate the whole circuit, measuring the entire distance with the length of their own body. This can take more than 20 days. Climbing to a height of more than 4,600 meters, the pilgrims stop every now and then to catch their breath in the thin air. Along the way, some people suffer from altitude sickness, but still they struggle on. Before reaching the highest point of the route, the pilgrims make a stop at this terrace covered with pieces of cloth and shoes. These are the offerings left by pilgrims who wish to create a spiritual link with this sacred site. After hiking for one and a half days, 
the CERS team finally reaches Droma Pass, the most sacred site on Kailash. At the lofty height of 5,600 meters, Droma Pass is the highest point along this ritual path. The extreme altitude and poor weather conditions are very difficult for pilgrims of all ages. The CERS team later learned that a 60-year-old lady and a young lady of 28 passed away from exhaustion on this same route that day. Cycle. 落下雨,尋日這樣,成天都落雨,你看見回來一樣那麼多人。Just rain or snow, it doesn't matter for them. <laughs> uh, when I did the circle, I won't call it a pilgrimage because, you know, I'm not a deeply religious person. But you, you, you learn to give respect to others. And I think these are the kind of places. It's an opportunity not to be studying it, but feeling it.